Well, first process is see if you can get to the nest. The peregrine falcons are so aggressive and defensive of their nests. If we were a raccoon, she'd knock us off the roof. And so she's trying to keep us away from her nest. And so she's a good mother. And so we have to get past her uh, without hurting ourselves or her or the chicks. And uh, so in this case with the box, we have a door on the side and we open it up and uh, take the chicks and we put them in, in soft bags and uh, cloth bags and take them into the building so that she's not watching us and continuing to be uh, aggravated by all that. All right, this is what we've been looking for, right? The unveiling of the chicks. I always have to be really careful because their, their claws are easy to pull out. So I have to be careful when they grab me not to just pull away. We put the leg bands that are, um, have numbers on them and they identify the chick for the rest of its life. But this gives us an identity for that bird wherever it goes for however long it lives. And it lets us understand uh, how they disperse and, and what kind of trouble they get into, what kind of accidents they have, what kind of interactions they have with other birds. And it really gives us their life story. And you can see their feathers are starting to come out. We have four big chicks. Um, this is an unusual sight because the father was killed two weeks ago. He ran into a, a, a structure on a building. So mother's all by herself. This is the first time in Massachusetts we've had one of the adults have to raise young by herself. Most of our nests don't even raise all four chicks and they have four chicks still in this nest. I wonder where mom is. Life and death in nature can be brutal sometimes. It's just the way things happen. You have populations that are made up of births and deaths and uh, they're both going on. All right, let's clear out, guys. So the big question is, can the mother do it? Is she gonna get enough food to feed all four of them? And we'll, we'll see, time will tell.